Okay, guys, today on the program, we'll be talking about this guy, William Bill Gates. Uh, he's the inventor of uh, microcomputers or something. I think he's the guy who invented that little paper clip that helps people, right? No. And uh, we're going to take a look because he said something that a lot of people have a lot of problems with. And uh, yeah, we'll try to figure it out. Um, he said this on Sky News. And by the way, what is Sky News? I feel like that's a channel that just like comes on the Roku when you buy a new Roku. Make pee pee. And in terms of that, there's been some speculation that the changing intellectual property rules um, and, and allowing these vaccines, as you say, the, the, the recipe for these vaccines to be shared would be helpful. And do you think that would be helpful? No. Why not? Well, there's only so many vaccine factories in the world. And people are very serious about the safety of vaccines. And so moving something that had never been done, moving a vaccine from, say, a Okay, guys, really quick before we start looking into this and before I start talking about this, I just want to let you know that I'm not sure what we're allowed to say on YouTube and well, we're going to get ba shadow banned or reflection banned, which is a thing that I just made up. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to be very careful with my wording about this stuff, okay? So there seems to be two groups of people on this one uh, in regards to the V. The V. Um, which is there's some people who say, hey, we should get this thing, make as much of this thing as possible. That should be the first priority. We make as much of this V as possible and get it to as many people as possible. That's the first group. The second group is a sp much smaller group who says that's not the first priority. The first priority is that we make a lot of money. And um, I feel like Bill Gates might be... Sorry, William Gates might be citing on the second one a little bit on this. Factory into a factory in India, that it's novel. It's only because of our grants and our expertise that can happen at all. The, the thing that's holding things back in this case is not intellectual property. There's not like some idle vaccine factory. It's not like some idle vaccine factory with regulatory approval that makes magically safe vaccines. Uh, you know, you've got to... So a lot of people a uh, little bit um, confused, let's just say, about this because uh, because uh, there are manufacturers who are ready to start producing this thing. I'll read you this story from The Guardian. BioLease, BioLease, BioLease is a small pharmaceutical manufacturer in Canada with a simple proposition. Provide a recipe for a coronavirus virus vaccine and it will produce 20 million doses for nations in the global south. It has approached AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson and even asked the Canadian government to help with its compulsory license, licensing, blah, 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 blah. This is one uh, manufacturer, and there are more around the world who are like, yeah, if we could just like not have the patent on this thing, uh, we could, you know, you know, stop the spread of this thing. When I reached him by phone this week, John Fulton, the vice president of BioLease, BioLease, told me, We've been passed over. We got this production capacity and it's not being put to use. If we had started last year, we could have shipped millions of doses by now. This is supposed to be like a wartime effort. Everyone in it together. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh-oh. Make pee-pee. Make pee-pee. It's sort of weird because he kind of like threw in a little comment about like, well, people are worried about whether or not it said the vaccine. Oh, damn it. The V. The V's are healthy. People are worried whether the V's are healthy, so, uh, you know, we got to blah, 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 blah. But really, like, if he was concerned about that, really, what, what, what the answer would be, it wouldn't be, hey, do you think our patents are slowing this thing down? He wouldn't be like what he did say, which is, no, no, patents are good. He would be like, yeah, look, if patents get in the way or anything, yeah, this is such a serious thing that we should just uh, roll all that back and uh, pretend like it's a wartime effort, which it is. But he doesn't say that. Um, he just kind of, like, supports the idea of, like, the patents are good, which makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still kind of bizarre, but it makes sense if you read about his history. This is from Ars Technica in uh, 2013. Bill Gates still help, helping known patent trolls obtain more patents. Bill Gates patent continues his partnership with Intellectual Ventures. So uh, Ars Technica was uh, writing about this for a long time, that this company that he was kind of uh, helping 
they would basically just buy up patents. They didn't really create anything. They would just kind of buy up patents, and they'd be like, that's ours. Um, and Bill, Bill Gates was into that. So I guess he's just sticking to these. Just, just like patenting things is good no matter what. So this is crazy. Like, here's a uh, part of the consequence to this sort of slowdown in uh, creating these vaccines. Uh, ah, V word. These V words. According to analysis by the Center for Global Development and The Economist, nations in the global south may not reach widespread V until 2023. 2023. The situation is dire and we need more vaccines. V's. At the moment, there is no... Wa this is crazy. There is no worldwide joined up effort to expand production. In other words, they're just like, we got the we got the patent. So you do what we say and we will make pee pee on you. Oh, man, this is looking bad. This is looking bad. This is, of course, a complicated issue. You know, producing all these V's. Uh, I really don't want to keep saying that. Make pee pee, make pee pee. But this is really looking bad. I got to say. I've been reading a bunch about this, and this is not looking good. This is really just looking like these companies are like, no, we want we want as much money as we could get off of this thing. Yeah, but uh, a lot of this, what you're doing is going to be a lot of people aren't going to be veed until two years from now. They're like, we don't care. Vaccine makers say coronavirus could be stopped around the globe in month. Am I allowed to say that one? Vaccine makers say CV. This is ridiculous. Could be stopped around the globe in months rather than years. Here's how. So this is in Bangladesh. They're saying they can only get a little bit of... They can only get a little bit of these Vs because uh, they have to get it through India and it's sort of a whole thing and they're not getting enough. But the country's drug makers say they could produce hundreds of millions of doses in a quick time frame if only they could secure a Vax V blueprint. If they could only secure a V blueprint, in other words, if they if they could get past the patent. I think the world cannot wait so long to be V, the chairman of Incepta Pharmaceuticals, uh, Abdul Mukt Muktadir said. If we make these things readily available in plentiful numbers, then automatically this problem is going to be solved. Holy moly. And that's the thing with my man Gates, inventor of the pay, that fun paperclip who comes in. He's like, are you trying to spell this? And you're like, shut up. It sounds like he was really saying, like, these countries just don't know what they're doing. But um, fitted with the latest technology from Germany, the company already produces vaccines to fight, mm, to fight a wide variety of diseases such as hepatitis B, typhoid, the flu, uh, tetanus, measles meningococcal and rabies so they could they could do they could do this they could do this bill gates he could he could pretty much do whatever he wants now right like he doesn't need to worry about that too much right he just has a pa it seems like maybe he just has a passion for a monopoly mon monopolistic behavior or something i don't know I mean, th this truly is, there's only one way to describe this kind of a behavior, which is Crypt Keeper-esque, Grave Robber-esque, maybe, of like, hey, look, we could, uh, you know, we could really help a lot of people, we could save lives, we could make sure that this thing doesn't mutate, by the way, more, and uh, spread all over the place more, we, we could do that, or we could make we more money. We could, oh, a, tra a tragedy, a disaster is happening. We can make more money from it. That's what we do, right? <laughs> Beat a kid in Walmart. <laughs> Truly grave robber, ghoulish, zombie-ish, say, mummy-like, Dracula-esque, a lot of people say, behavior. I'll put a link to this. Why an idea? for free vaccine licenses was rejected. Currently, pharmaceutical companies, cool guys, as I call them, that invent the vaccines have control over who is issued a license to produce it. India and South Africa, supported by developing countries and international aid groups, unsuccessfully led a charge to have a temporary waiver on intellectual property rights so a third party could distribute it distribute licenses to produce CV-19, let's just call it Vs. A similar waiver was made two decades ago 
to help produce generic drugs during the HIV AIDS epidemic. Advocates say the move would help ensure low-income countries do not experience surges as they endure long waits for the Vs, like that being witnessed in Papua New Guinea. But the move failed. Hmm, why? Please tell me why. After wealthy countries, including Australia, this is an Australian paper, blocked the proposal in the World Trade Organization. And oh my God. On, this is unbelievable. This is the most ghoulish, decrepit, grave robber, grave robin, dawn of the dead esque, 28 days later esque crap I've ever heard in my life. On! Make pee pee. Believable. Also, I feel sorry for this lady in this article. That they got this picture. She's like getting, getting, she's getting a shot, and they got her like right at the worst time where she's like, ah, ah, ah. Poor lady, you know. I would, I would feel pretty bad if I went to go get this thing, and then I like, you know, I had, I overreacted a little bit to the poke, and, I'm like, ah! and they're like, snap the picture. I'm like, great. Now my face is gonna be all over the place, looking like an absolute goon. So there's this, um. This is pretty interesting. I'll I can never remember to put the links, but I'll put a link. There's this um there's this website called Corporate Europe Observatory, and they're kind of like a uh, you know they're journalists there, and they they do like they do like a kind of watchdog thing on these uh, lobbyists and stuff, and they published this pretty interesting thing where they found some uh, you know documents, but they published a really interesting report on this, and here's here's further further kind of like uh oh yikes. Uh oh, uh, type uh, evidence here. Um, 21 generic manufacturers from across the globe have pledged to work together to manufacture Vs. This abundant manufacturing ca- uh, capacity is currently lying idle. It's not like some idle vaccine factory. It's not like some idle vaccine factory. Perhaps the most important source to answer the question of whether there is idle production capacity is the Coalition for. Epidemic Preparedness Initiatives, or CEPI. (laughs) CEPI. One of their experts, Nicole Lurie, stated in February that this year, at a webinar organized by Columbia University, there is excess capacity out there. Still. The challenge is that right now, (laughs) this is really, really does not sound good. The challenge is that right now, the challenge is that right now, the companies that have established vac- Vs are really hesitant to form partnerships, particu- particularly with some developing country manufacturers. Uh-oh. I mean, uh, they just really can't get past this thing, it seems. They just really can't get past this thing of, like, we got to squeeze as much money out of this thing as possible. Ooh, a disaster happened. Or as I call it, an opportunity to squeeze as much money out of this as possible. Yeah, but if you uh, keep doing this, this thing's going to drag on for a couple more years, it could. And they're like, we don't care. Uh, And the list should not be limited to generic producers only. In Denmark, Bavarian Nordic, Bavarian Nordic, I guess is like the drug manufacturing company, offered a while back to produce Vs for their factory while waiting for, from their factory while waiting for approval of their own. On, on, this is how they write the date. On 2 February 2021. <laughs> That's wrong. It's February 2nd, 2021. A frustrated CEO of the company said to the press that he was, quote, a bit frustrated about hearing about shortages and lack of capacity. I would also like to have a, v- a V and our staff are ready to do our part for Denmark, Scandinavia, and Europe. But it's clear that people have to want to use us. So he's basically saying, like, yeah, they don't want to work with us. I mean, look, guys, this is a complicated issue, okay? This is a complicated issue, but it really, and I urge you to do your own research, but it it really, this really, based on uh, a lot of evidence, seems like it's just like these companies are just like, look, this is an opportunity for us to squeeze a lot of money. We got to squeeze a lot of money. And even if it would help a lot more people, save a lot more lives and says, uh, we don't care. <laughs> we got to squeeze. Did you not hear earlier when I was saying we got to squeeze as much money, sir? How dare you? Um, and then William Gates, inventor of what's that company called? Microcomputers. 
he comes in and he's like, yeah, I support that position. <laughs> Porn can lead to demonic possession. That was an accident. I didn't mean to play that clip. I meant to play this one. Make pee pee. Okay. And the establishment says, Kambuga shaka munda, kunga kingo, booga laka booga black, 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 black. Okay. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Maybe not the, the funnest news. <laughs> Maybe not the funnest news exactly, but uh, definitely something you should know about and something that you yourself should look more into. Thank you. Um, and one last thing before I go, I would like to say that if you are at all interested, uh, please join the live stream tonight, uh, when, every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Year of Our Lord. There's a link below for the Discord and blah, 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 Guga Giga and Guga Laka Bluga Black 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 Black. Hey everybody, and thanks so much for watching this video. Like all the other YouTube and podcast perverts, I now have a Patreon. Every week on this Patreon, I'm uploading two exclusive Patreon exclusive shows. They're like real shows, more produced, more edited. One of them is a behind the scenes show where I reveal all the secrets and YouTube scams that I'm doing. And the other one, I just reveal my innermost dark cringe secrets. And here you can get daily access to the audio only feed. So if that's something that you are interested in, um, check it out. On Patreon. Uh, I'll put a link in the, what is the thing called? In the, the description, I guess. So thank you so much, even if you don't. Thanks for watching this video. I know it's hard to get through these things, but um, I appreciate you. <laughs>